Hey everyone, how are ya? It is Drop here. Just coming at you with another Star Citizen video. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something just a little bit off uh, kilter what we're used to. So normally what I like to do is uh, really good, uh, safe and reliable and uh, enjoyable uh, trade routes in the Caterpillar. But today I'm gonna come at you with something a little bit different. We're in the uh, Drake Cutlass Black today. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do some drug runs. So uh, who doesn't like a good uh, drug run in a fun spaceship in Star Citizen? Um, today we're going to be doing a run that I like, that I find to be uh, the most profitable uh, as far as uh, time management is concerned as well. So uh, what you're going to do when you start off is you're going to hop in your ship. It could be in a cut list. It could be in a freelancer or a freelancer max or a Connie. Pretty much whatever you want. But uh, once you get past the uh, Constellation series ships, it starts to become really tricky to do these drug runs. The only reason why I say that is because their cargo is so big that it, it actually takes you a significantly long time to, to dump all of your uh, cargo. So... Uh, we're in the Cutlass. I like this ship. It's pretty quick, and uh, it's just really fun to fly. So uh, first thing you want to do is uh, when you wake up, wherever you are, is you want to come to the Art Core system, right? So when you get to Art Core, you've got uh, <clears throat> Wayla and Lyria are the two moons that surround Art Core. So you're, you're going to want to come over here to Lyria. Lyria is the moon where we're going to be starting off our run. So we're going to a place called Paradise Cove. And uh, at the beginning of this uh, video here, I'm just going to show you a really quick tutorial on how to get there. There's other more in-depth tutorials you can check out as well. But I hope I can give you a pretty good idea of how to get there. So we're here. We're at Lyria. Now the best starting point when you get to Lyria is you want to come over to Orbital Marker 3. And when you get to Orbital Marker 3, you're going to be looking at this exact same uh, side of the moon that I'm looking at right now. So when you're at Lyria and you've gone to OM3, uh, you're going to hit B on your keyboard to bring up all of your locations on the moon side. And you're going to look for SPAL6, which is a location on this moon, Lyria. So we'll just keep rolling this uh, our ship around and looking for SPAL6. Should be 3. Maybe it was 3. Oh, it totally was 3. Okay, so it's SPAL3. Three, I guess. It's got to be. Yeah, SPL3. So when you're looking at SPL3 directly above, you can see sort of this like C shape. I watched another uh, YouTube video to kind of get this tutorial, but I'm just kind of moving these ideas around just so that more people can see it. And then directly to the right of SPL3, if I uh, disengage my quantum, you can see this triangle that we're staring at right here. Boom, 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 triangle. So what you want to do is you kind of want to just line up your cursor just with the peak, just to the bottom right of this peak of the top of the triangle. And once you've centered your cursor on that, like pretty well right in the middle, don't move your mouse at all. Just speed up and set your cruise control. Don't move anything. Just leave it the way it is. Just run and gun it. And uh, I'm just going to turn on just, it, it only, it doesn't take too long to get to this location, not like jump down where it can take several minutes. This is usually pretty quick, especially if you're in the cuddy and it's kind of a quick little ship to begin with. So I'll just uh, draw on some tunes or something for you guys while we roll in here. As soon as you see the uh, the meter for the angle that you're flying in at the moon, I want you to let off the cruise control just to slow down a little bit because it's been a while since I've done this uh, this run as well, and I just want to make sure that I can see properly and so that so you can see as well, so you can see the the uh, landmarks of what we're looking at here. So we're still going straight forward. We're just going towards the same location that we were at before, just pointing down at the uh, moon surface. And once you start to slow down, 
once you're at about like 10,000 feet or whatever, just kind of like look a little bit further down, straight forward here. Just go towards the planet. I'm going at about 45 degrees. Just keep it nice and steady. Okay. Once you just pass 5,000 feet, just slow down to a, to a halt so that you can get a good look at what you're what you're staring at here. So, on the right, you've got this sort of like grouping of mountains, and then on the left, you have a smaller grouping of mountains. This one here kind of looks like it has like three distinct peaks, and this one here is kind of like a rounded peak, kind of like a V, like almost like an arrow pointing to the right. What you want to do is you want to go towards where that arrow is kind of pointing this way. Just go this direction, just speed up. I'm going to actually put my cruise control down because you kind of go pretty quick in this, uh, in this cutty. Just kind of get a little bit lower on the planet. Of course, this always helps when you're on the bright side. So if you happen to come to Lyria and you're on the dark side of the planet, just go mess around somewhere else for a bit and then come back after like 5-10 minutes just to see if the uh, area is, is light, uh, lit. Because uh, it's much more difficult to actually see the, the, the markings that you want to be going uh, when the planet's on the dark side. So what we're looking for uh, apparently is like a big... Uh, a big rock and I believe that the uh, location is kind of tucked in below one of these rocks here so we'll just take a quick peek around I can't remember exactly which rock it is it could take me uh, a few minutes here to, to remember I think it's over here maybe here oh there it is okay here it is so this is this is Paradise Cove here we go right here so let's um, drop our landing gear and just kind of ease in right at the front door. All right, we're here. We're here. Actually, I've gone too far. Too far. I'm in VTOL mode. I forgot about that. All right, let's just <laughs> let's just back up just a wee bit. Okay, here we go. All right. That was a bit of a hard landing. Don't judge me. Okay, so we've landed, let's leave, and let's head in and see what they have to offer. Doesn't seem to be anyone else here, so it's good. Open door. And we'll, oh, geez Louise. Close that up. All right, welcome to Paradise Cove. Uh, pretty much identical to JT, only they offer different stuffs. So let's see what kind of drugs we can get today. Select your ship. All right, so we want to be doing ETAM and Neon. These are the cheapest prices so far that I've seen um, is at Paradise Cove here. So let's fill up on, oh wow, we can just fill up on Neon. And that's gonna spend all of my money, and that's, so this is only uh, 112,000 AUC for 17 SEU, and we have a total of 46. So I'm, I'm running a little bit low on the funds lately, so let's just buy 100K just for now. Ugh, just so that it's an easier calculation when we... All right, so 100,240 of Neon. So let's purchase that Neon. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. All right, so that's in our ship, so we can leave now. Usually don't want to spend too much time hanging around here anyways. Once you're back in your ship, you're going to just take off. Get out of the atmosphere as quick as you can. And when you're ready, we're going to quantum all the way to Hurston. And the location we're going to be selling is Reclamation and Disposal Orinth, which is uh, right on Hurston. And it's a bit out of the way because there's no quantum uh, points to jump to there. However, there is a trick that you can at least locate it easily. I wouldn't really call it a trick. It's just something you can do in the game just to kind of help you out and find that spot so you don't have to fly around searching for it.
Okay, we are arriving uh, back in Hurston space. So as soon as we pop out of quantum here, I'll show you where we're going and how to get there. So we'll hop back into our pilot seat. And while our quantum drive is cooling down, what we're going to do is uh, bring up our contracts manager. Go over to personal. And then you'll see here that there is actually some deliveries to be picked up from where we are, so, or where we want to go, I should say. So this one here uh, wants a package picked up from Reclamation and Disposal Orinth. So it's not a, a, a location on the planet that you can actually quantum to. However, uh, to find it, you just accept that package offer. And then it'll automatically track it. And there it is on the planet. So now if we go to our star map, and we zoom into Hurston. You can see here that the pickup location, reclamation and disposal, uh, doesn't have a place that we can quantum to. So what we're going to do is just hop over to the quickest, um, or the closest area, I should say. Um, or alternatively, if you don't want to, like, so usually what I do, because it doesn't always work out in the best way, is you can either fly to Adlai and then um, manually fly over to the pickup location or you can try and quantum leap to a location that's kind of centered along this way so we're this is us right here so if you want you can try and quantum to a spot on the other side like Sherman and when you go to quantum around the planet you can just press I on your keyboard to shut off power to your engines and it'll drop you out of quantum halfway and then, or whenever you push the button, and then you'll end up a lot closer to that pickup location. So I'm going to try that, and we'll see how it goes. This this could go very badly, for all I know, but because uh, I'm not very good at it. But if you're good at that, then I would suggest giving it a shot. So let's give it a try here. We'll try Sherman. We'll set our route, and we'll try and quantum there. All right. So we're flying into our pickup point on Hurston, where we picked up, or where we took the mission for our package. And we're just flying in nice and easy. We're about 360 kilometers away, roughly. So what we've done is we've uh, picked up altitude above 30,000 uh, feet. And that uh, allows us to stay at our like maximum speed, just so that we can get there quicker and we don't have to be... Uh, just adjust to make sure we're staying level. Just making sure that we are at our top speed and we're not wasting too, too much time. All right, now we are getting significantly close to R&D Orinth. So we'll uh, slow right down. Might as well drop our landing gear while we're at it. Landing gear down. Now this spot on Hurston is essentially just like a big junkyard. So we're gonna try and wiggle our way into the closest point. If you're in a big ship, you can't really land right close to the pickup point kind of have to go a little bit on the outskirts but we're in a little cutty so we should be able to Ooh, that's another thing it's actually quite laggy here we should be able to land like pretty much right at the front door yeah it's quite laggy here wow yeah let's take it nice and easy oh yeah we're looking good here okay so we've landed so let's leave our seat real quick And let's go sell it. So it's uh it's experience the ship is experiencing the glitch where the cargo doesn't show up in the hold, but it should be there. At least I hope it's still there. And this is our package we're supposed to pick out, which we really just used as a marker so that we could find this location. And there's no uh this is just open space here, or I guess this is already, you know, atmosphere, but uh, let's go to the ship shipping console. Uh, click sell. And there's our stuff. Okay, so uh, they're purchasing currently. The total cargo value is 126.99 or 990. And we bought it for 100k. So we're actually making 27k just off of uh, 15 SCU. But they're only purchasing 10 right now, but it refills 20 per minute. So we should be able to have no issue uh, selling this lot and then coming back and selling the rest of it within just a few minutes. Uh, this 
a particular location has a refresh rate of 200 or uh, 2 SCU per minute. So if we sell this right now, we'll get most of our money back. And then the remaining cargo value, if we go back up to the console, is 36.990, and that'll refresh every minute. So there you have it. You can uh, do a nice, enjoyable, fun little cargo run from Lyria to Hurston to R&D Orinth in your Cutlass, your Freelancer, your Freelancer Max, whatever you want. This is a fun little run if you have the time and if you have the uh, capital to back it up. And you can also keep in mind do this in any of the smaller ships that have cargo space as well. You could do this in a Connie, you could do this in the Cutlass, the Freelancer, any of those little ships work too. Uh, keep in mind that if you're using a bigger cargo ship, it's going to take you a super long time. If you're doing like 600,000 credits at a time, it's going to take you a while just standing here trying to dump all of that cargo. So what I would recommend is uh, when you start off, purchase the two types of, because uh, you can sell ETAM here as well. Back at Lyria at Paradise Cove, uh, if you have a bigger ship, try purchasing both quantities at the max level and then delivering them together and selling both of them here because the refresh rate is for each commodity individually. But uh, that's just a nice fun little cargo run if you want to do some illegal drug runs. Um, remember to leave your pilot seat as you quantum to avoid the police unless you don't mind the fight and take it on. Uh, usually pretty easy and uh, getting that crime stat up. So there you have it. Thanks guys for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.